Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, my name is Kim. This is Core Union. Today's a day off. I'm super excited. I am being called to share some things with you guys that was in my head when I woke up today. So here I am. So today I want to talk about, and I, I have some notes that I'm going to refer to. I want to talk about trusting in your soul, not your ego. When you trust in your heart and soul, you have to recognize this is a choice that you make. It is a decision. When you trust what's deep in your heart and soul, that burning deep passion, say, for example, with your specific person, because that's what the majority of people are manifesting. Side note, when you're manifesting your specific person, it's ridiculously over the top important that you don't neglect yourself, neglect your health, neglect your security, your finances, because what can happen when you guys are doing this all from a state of lack and distrust and fear, and you are only, only focusing all of your energy on your specific person out of fear and lack, you will drain yourself. And a lot of times people end up having a lot of health conditions or issues with finances and security. So we really want to make sure we are doing this from a well-rounded and powerful, empowering, strong way. And the way I have always manifested from my perspective is well-rounded and what I teach my clients. The word soul is so important in this particular video. The notes that I made were, this is everybody asked, somebody recently asked me under one of my videos, other than trusting source, how can I trust that my SP is my SP? There is no other than source. There is no other than source. You have to trust in source. Trusting in source, God, universe, is trusting in what's in your heart and soul because that is how everything that God wants for you is communicated in your heart and soul. That So you have to trust that. This is a decision and it's a choice that you make. Well, how do I do that? The same way that you choose to wake up and get out of bed every day, the same way that you choose to take a shower, the same way that you choose to drink this instead of that, eat this instead of that, it's a choice. When you're manifesting from the soul level, to me, it's much more empowering. So it's all having self-awareness, knowing and understanding, oneness that we're all connected. We are, there is literally no separation. There's no such thing as separation. You're not here and your person is out there. You guys are literally one. So when you're doing the inner work and you're trusting, they're trusting. When you're not doing the inner work and you're in distrust and fear, then they're most likely feeling fear too. That might look from the 3D, it might look that they're trying to do everything to forget about you and numb yourself. When you go back within and you trust in it and you let it all go and you really let yourself go deep into this all in expectation and you feel good about it, but you're not anxious or waiting anymore. You are content because you were embodying being in the relationship and you feel good. You're free. You have broken completely free from all of the oppressive chains that you've put yourself in. Something's telling me to talk about resetting vagus nerve. So I'll bring that up in a second. That's true trust and, and making a decision and choosing. So self-awareness, oneness, and then unconditional love. It's allowing yourself to really love yourself unconditionally with no limits and to love your person unconditionally with no limits. And in that unconditional love, you also let go of anything that wasn't in alignment with love from the past, recognizing it was all your limits and the fears, worries, the doubts coming up to try to stop you from allowing yourself to have this kind of deep love. And then limitless potential. It's recognizing that we all have this limitless potential to stop allowing yourself to be bound by those chains of oppression, of thinking that just because you grew up seeing that you can't rely on others, that love isn't safe, that if you allow yourself to feel safe and secure, you're going to be disappointed, that if people in your reality are busy or this or that, that it doesn't mean you're about to get shut out or abandoned. That just came up in my head from a recent um, client session that I had. 
I don't know how or when my body went into my sympathetic nervous system, but it's a very uncomfortable feeling. I don't know why I waited so long, <laughs> but last night I decided I'm going to do a cold water face plunge. So I highly recommend that you have this as one of many tools. And during our sessions of coaching together, I'll give you other tools that you can use because there are a number of different things that you can do when you are in fight, flight, freeze. If, you're, if your body is in its sympathetic nervous system, you want to get it out of that and back into your parasympathetic nervous system by these different tools before you do your inner work. When you also do your inner work, so now you're cool, calm, and collected, you're at peace, you're not in your fight, flight, freeze, and you do it from knowing that your what's within you is God, that you are the human vehicle and instrument, the way to God is through Christ and your human imagination, your kingdom of heaven is that Christ consciousness. And that is buying the pearl. It's trusting what's in your heart and soul and knowing that all of creation is done. So you want to kind of tap into that power and then from there, tap into loving yourself, having that unconditional love, unwavering, unconditional value in yourself and who you are. Also do some inner work around your health, around your finances, around appreciation and being recognized. And then you have a really wonderful inner conversation and imaginal act with you and your person living together. And you are doing this from being the husband, wife, or partner, whatever you label it. And then have a little quick imaginal act of living together. And when you do this, it's happening now. Go at it from a, a higher operating level of pureness, of unconditional divine love. And that's going to be much more empowering. So anyway, vagus nerve reset to me is really important. What I finally did last night, and every time I do it, I'm like, why don't I just do this daily? So I need to figure out a way to incorporate this into my life, literally every day of my life, because it it is amazing and incredible. Obviously, check with your doctor before you do this, but it's very simple. You take a big bowl of water, you fill it up so it's about that, that high. So when you put your face in, it's going to be up to your ear here. Put some ice cubes in the water. Make sure that the water is somewhere no colder than like, I, I think it's between 50 and 59, but I think it's very good to have it at 55. And then have a towel next to you, stand in front of the water. And again, make sure that you have no pre-existing health conditions where this is dangerous. So check with your doctors before you do this. If you have any kind of heart conditions, do not do this. If you have any blood pressure conditions, do not do this. Okay. Make sure, be responsible with your health. Assuming that this is safe for you, step in front of the bowl, take a few good deep breaths in. Hold your breath in, dunk your face in the water anywhere between 50, 15 seconds, no longer than 30 seconds. Pull your face up, dry your face off and breathe. You can repeat that again in a, in a minute or so. Just make sure that the water didn't go beneath 50 degrees. If it did, reset the water, like pour it out and then do it again. You can do it two to three times a day you will find you will actually be able to, like if you were numbed out because you were feeling in your fight, flight, or freeze, and you were in your fear, your sympathetic nervous system, you will be able to feel peaceful again. You'll be able to breathe easier again. You'll be able to take a nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Trust me, it's very powerful. So find different tools that work for you to reset your vagus nerve. And then remember that when you manifest, do it from a the highest of high operating levels, which is going to be going into that trust of your God state, trust that Christ consciousness within you, and trust in your soul. So again, it's self-awareness. Let me just go back. It's self-awareness, it's oneness, it's unconditional love, and it's limitless, okay? Trust in that burning, deep down desire in your soul because it literally is all the proof that you need. 
I don't care whatever happens in my 3D reality between me and my mirror soul. I know who we are to each other. I could give a you know what, what we go through. It does not matter. Okay. So you have to have that same level of trust and love and live your life in trust and remain Get your self-concept in order. I should be ending this video, but I feel like continues to say this. Get your self-concept in order and go deep into your trust and make the decision and stick to it. Okay, I love you so much. Please, I pray that this video helped. Um, if you need me, just reach out and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nothing can come. Nothing can come. Nothing can come. Between us.